I quickly just want to introduce you uh, for those who will watch back on this. This is our friend Danielle, Danielle Vuk um, with World Orphans, but, but first a friend of Creekside and then a connection with uh, World Orphans. I think we first met you in 2018. Does that I sound think, right? Yeah, it was two years ago. Yeah, yeah, so about two years ago. And I like to say we met you through uh, the Irish Connection. <laughs> so we, we have our, our friend here, uh, just a dear brother, part, part of uh, the Creekside family, Jordan McGrath, who started talking about uh, a buddy from Ireland, Aaron Boyd, also mm -hmm. known as Boydo, or, yes. or I like to say Aaron. Aaron. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, so that, that's kind of how we came into contact. So uh, Aaron Boyd had a connection with you through World Orphans and kind of converged on Creekside in a really, really great way uh, yeah. two years ago. And so here we are uh, talking this year. We, we got to see you live and in person a second time last year. And then, uh, and then we had plans. We were potentially going to get to see you. And I, I hope this is okay. Um, yeah. Because it's too late. Yeah. I'm, I'm already talking about it. Have that. Yeah, yeah. So how are you doing? We're obviously not live and in person. We're doing this call over uh, Zoom and recording it. So where are you right now? And uh, what is going on in your life that keeps you from being right here in person with us? Uh, I know. So I'm in Michigan right now. Um, I, I'm from Michigan and um, my dad got sick and got tested for COVID and then I got sick. And so um, we haven't gotten his results back yet, but here we are. Thank God for technology that still brings us together. <laughs> right, right. right. So, so you're, you're under the weather. I am, yes, it's that blasted time of the year, plus, which we all know, the, right, right. the COVID word. <laughs> right, right. So I, I wanted to mention that because, uh, you know, we're, we're a family body of Christ together, uh, whether we spend all of our Sundays at Creekside or not. So we, we want to know these things, want to be able to keep you in our thoughts and our prayers. I know you've made connections here as well as we've made connections back with you too uh, along the way. So anyhow, yeah. we'll, we'll be praying for you, your dad, and for your family. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. Um, I know it's just, it's so heartbreaking, you know, when so much of our job and what we loved, Aaron and I love to do is connecting with people, you know, and we're on the road, like, you know, every month out of the year and to not be able to be with this family that we've created with Creekside this year, yeah. it really is devastating. Like when Aaron and I talk about it all the time, it really is one of those places. The moment we met you guys, it felt like family. It just felt like this, you know, when you're on the road so much, you know, when you finally come to a place where you just feel like you can be yourself, you feel that. Yeah welcome and so it really is it's sad not to be there but you know god has a plan in it all right so we we know the the whole world's been impacted by uh, a global pandemic so we're we're you know this this is one of those moments where i would say that that little catchphrase we are in this together you know in in certain ways we've yeah. all been impacted um but i i wanted to ask you how has this impacted the ministry with World Orphans? Uh, you know, um, it's, it's, it's impacted us for sure on multiple levels, you know, so the reality of the situation is, I mean, we haven't been able to travel and to see our church partners. We haven't been able to take, you know, um, our American teams and to continue to build relationship with the partnerships that we have. Um, and, that's been really sad, you know, but equally in the middle of that, 
I think that, you know, we've kind of explored some new ways to be creative and we've technology, we've been able to bridge that gap and it's provided a really sweet unity in the middle of it all. And we just keep clinging to the hope that we, we know that this is just a season. It's not our forever, you know, and, um, so yeah, it's been, I'm sure everyone can relate, right? There's been so much pivoting that's needed to take place been so much like all right god help us bust out of our boxes and reach new levels of creativity you know um but at the end of the day there is nothing like that personal you know face-to-face connection and and that's definitely missing um but we'll look forward to 2021 (laughs) yeah yeah you know we're feeling that a little bit right now too um our county just uh, rolled back some things that we were previously able to do as of mm-hmm. yesterday we entered a new a new purple tier so we've had to close down uh, just starting again this week any indoor gatherings and uh, outdoor gatherings are so limited that we're, we're really not able to get together at all so thankfully there are things like this technology we could come together in and it is really important to remember it is a season. It, yeah. is, it is just a season. And God is so amazing that we can, if we're going to be sensitive to him and with him, we could look around and, and continue to see the great things that he is yeah. continuously doing. It's true. Yeah, it's so true. And, you know, we just had our staff call last week and just hearing, I'm sure, talking with you, how creative and innovative you guys have been, you know, with reaching your community um, and just the personal touches and, you know, hearing of our international pastors, you know, in Guatemala and Haiti and Ethiopia that have just been so intentional, even in the middle of all of this, you know, to... They don't have a lot, but what do they have to reach their community? And that's relationship. And it's opening up church buildings to do, you know, private tutoring with students so they don't fall behind. It's, yeah. you know, entering and counseling for those that are in some pretty rough areas. Like, it's just been really cool to see how the church has just, you know, been a real light in their community. And so it is, it's encouraging too. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a there's a need i I mean there's a need with world orphans and i know there is a an uh an opportunity that's coming up pretty quickly this weekend so i'd love i'd love for you to share the need and even about this opportunity that that we may have to to support what that need is yeah, for sure. Um, so because we couldn't get Aaron here this year, a lot of what we're able to bring in financially comes from um, us touring. And so we're at um, roughly 150000 um in a deficit um, because we weren't able to tour. But yeah. um, some unbelievable faithful donors in our board that um, has rallied around this and said that they wanted to double match um, up to a hundred thousand dollars which is amazing yeah Um, yeah yeah. and so we're doing um, uh, a big concert with Aaron Um, he's gonna be in Belfast with his band um, on this Saturday um, at at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Um, and it's and you're going to have the opportunity um, to not worship with us, of course, and hear about what World Orphans has been doing this year. And then if God lays it on your heart to, to sow into um, our goal, it's the biggest goal we've ever had, but um, is to raise mm-hmm. 50000 um on Saturday. Yeah, that sounds incredible. And I know um, that we have a, a little video of Aaron that, that, he sent, like you said, you you have an attachment to to Creekside, and and yeah. thanks for saying that. By the way, I, I feel on behalf of our church and our in our church community, it, it's an honor to to hear that, you know, and yeah. to be a part of that. So, thanks for sharing that, and then also thank you to Creekside for being being that, being God's love 
uh, with and to each other that way. But we have, uh, we have this video from, uh, from Aaron as well. And I'll, I'll let him, without subtitles, I'll, I'll let him <laughs> listen to just a beautiful, beautiful Irish accent and him share uh, a greeting to Creekside and also a little bit about Saturday. And, and then we'll, uh, we'll have some information on getting connected to that as well. Perfect. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Is there anything else that that we're missing or that that you'd like to like to share that we didn't get to? Honestly, not that I can think of. I just okay. seriously okay. my heart just want to thank you, Tim and Creekside just for um again, you've you've not only shown us love, you know, with the just being so welcoming, but with World Orphans, it's been the number one, like your church has been the number one um, forgiving. Like it just blows wow. my mind. Like every time we're with you, um, it's just is a very sweet, um, touching thing for, for me because I have a relationship with you guys now, but on behalf of World Orphans, the way that this church has been able just to rally around what it is we feel like God has called us to do, it really is unbelievable and i just i need you to hear how grateful i am yeah thank you thank yeah. you on, on behalf of er everybody uh who's here watching right now um yeah it's it's been a special connection for for us as well we we've, we've enjoyed you we've enjoyed aaron and um even just the the uh the intimacy that is there by by giving and participating with with world orphans we know it's a it's a uh, an impactful organization for for the kingdom mm. well thank you well, i appreciate th it. thank you for uh even getting up today <laughs> I, I know that you're, you're probably taking some things and, and, oh. and forcing yourself to, to sit upright and, and uh, all of that just to be on this call with us. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep you in prayer. Let, let, me, let me pray for you and for your Thank family right now. Uh, Father, thanks for Danielle and, and for her family and her participation in, in World Orphans, Your Kingdom. We ask, like, like many others that, uh, that we've known and, and um, heard of even, that you would take special care of, of her and her dad and the rest of their family. Father, that um, you would allow their immune systems to do what you've created them to do and to uh, fight off sickness and, and allow them to flourish in health. Father, we ask your, your protection that uh, that wouldn't be something that's passed around to the rest of their friends or family either. And they, they would be able to uh, constantly see, see your, your love and care for them while they are in recovery. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're much. welcome. You're welcome. Thanks, thanks for uh, calling again. You're the God of this city. You're the king Craig of said, this city. what is happening? Boy, you're here winging my way to you all the way from East Belfast. I'm getting fired up. I'm actually in getting set up for this Saturday night. And I'm genuinely bummed that we cannot be with you in person. We all know the score, 2020, what a crazy year. Um, and uh, But lots of good God stuff right in the middle of it. Um, and so just praying for you, whatever circumstance you may find yourself in, praying peace and breakthrough and, and rest in the middle of it. Um, genuinely thankful um, for my relationship with you and then also our, our, our relationship together alongside World Orphans and for everything that you've poured into this vision that was birthed and that uh, you've run with it and it really really means a lot and um, but this Saturday night I'm doing a live on my uh, Facebook live at uh, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time I pro I'm gonna get a haircut look at the state of that there pure bat wings class and um, so I guess getting head for it um, 
But at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of new songs and uh, off my, my, my record that I did during lockdown there. And then we are going to be trying to raise a whole bunch of funds for our buddies at World Orphans. So we have a double match, and the goal is that there's two people that have matched the night up to up to 50 grand US. So my goal, right? I know it's a big one. I would love to try and raise 50 grand through everything that this is getting beamed out to. That 50 grand then ultimately gets turned into. 150 okay that is the goal for the night worship and justice loving god loving people um but so please tune in thank you for being deadly thank you for saying yes and then going on the adventure with us share this get everyone who you know to come and watch it i promise it's going to be absolutely banging and uh it's going to be cracking so love you to bits god bless you